Hello, uh, this is another uh, Lure Fishing for Rass UK video. Uh, today's one is uh, my bag and what I take in it. Um, this bag uh, was, I found it from trawling on eBay. Um, it was a mollied uh, bum bag, but a large one, maybe a shoulder bag. Um, all the original fittings, as you can see by that, well, they have rusted through, um, but it's still going strong. Um, I still use it all the time, and I've not found one that's better than this, although I'm sure one day I will. Um, I'm not prepared to spend the money that you'd pay for something like a Max Pedition one, because they are just ridiculously expensive. My bags get covered in salt water, even though I do rinse them, um, and the bag will eventually die, and I'm not prepared to spend £100 on a fishing bag. So anyway, um, we'll start from uh, the strap. Obviously this one has a shoulder strap here, um, but around the back, um, I've only ever used it twice, but in here there is a waist strap as well, so it can be, you can carry it as a bum bag. Um, on my shoulder strap, um, I have my first pair of pliers. Now, I've played around with different pairs of pliers. I found that the uh, needle nose ones are don't have enough strength to get a even a barbless hook out of a rass's mouth. So I'm using these ones, which aren't quite as needle nosed dish. Uh, these are second hand. These only cost me a fiver. The Snowby ones. Um, I've only stuck with fishing pliers because they're aluminium and lightweight, and I use a Snowby stinger just to attach them to me. Um, so those are my pliers. We'll do the outside of the bag first, then we'll get onto the inside of it. So let's just, there we go. Um, on this outside of the bag, I have my snips. Now, even though they do have snip, uh, cutting jaws on the pliers, they were second hand, they weren't very good. Um, new jaws for those pliers are eight quid, and I didn't pay that much for the pliers, so fairly obviously I'm not gonna buy them. Um, so this is my snips. They are, let's get that right. Um, boomerang snips, um, that's their closed position. You can let's go that way. So you slide the clips forward and they open up. Um, these cut through every braid there is, uh, mono and everything else, they're great. The, they're also, also available with an LED in them, um, so you can actually shine the LED on what you're cutting, which is great. Um, and obviously they, they have this stinger as well. The downside is that you can't get these in the UK. Or well, not that I found anyway. I had to actually uh, order these from the states, and I think they were something like fifteen quid ish, including postage. But they're, they're just awesome. Um, I've never used anything like it. They just cut through braid straight away without any problems at all. So I really, really like those. If there's a UK distributor out there, or a worldwide distributor, um, get these in the UK. You'll sell loads of them. Um, so on the other side of the bag, here. This is where I keep my car keys. Now this might sound stupid, but you, you want to get, if you do fall in, you want to be able to get back to your car and get uh, start the car. So these are inside an otter box. Um, so they do keep it dry and I keep a whistle on there uh, for attracting attention as well. So that they live in that pocket there. So originally this bag did have underneath this flap I'll go through the contents of this in a minute, but there, there used to be a, a zipped area there that you could unzip it and keep it all, but I just never used it, so I've uh, cut it off, don't need it. Um, front pocket. In my front pocket, I keep, um, I'm currently using some YGK Nightlon um, fluorocarbon in 20 pound, yep, 20 pound. <clears throat> there is a uh, Zebco hook sharpener, um, no specific loyalty to Zebco. I do like this stuff, but uh, yeah, good hook sharpener. Um, in this box, the guy that I get my leads from, that I'll show you in just a minute, he sends his leads in these boxes, so they're useful. So in here, my hooks, uh, so I've got size 1, 1 2 0, and 3 0. Hardly ever use those two. I use 1 0s about mm, 5% of the time, and the rest of the time it's all uh, size ones um someone showed me once and i thought it's a really good idea keep my safety pin they're all in the same place nice and easy um so that was that uh, that's that box the next box are the leads so yet again um same same box um but i keep uh, the little ones here are the seven grams and the big ones here that i use virtually all the time are the 12 grams they're half an ounce and the, there are some swivels and beads in there as well um, I keep, I take three metals with me for just in case, 
Um, if I see anything that isn't particularly interesting, soft plastics, I might chuck these out. Um, but keep those with me. As with all my hooks, they're, they're single hooks, barbell hooks. So uh, those. Um, I have a digital scale in here. Um, I think this is a fiver um, on eBay from China. It's accurate. Um, one of the batteries I keep the other way around. Um, and in a zip seal bag. So even though you can see just about not really, um, it's got a bit of rust in it. Still works, still accurate, still, still work. Um, I do have a tape measure. I don't. I very, very rarely weigh my wrasse unless I get something serious. I'll weigh it. Um, I keep a tape measure because maybe why not? Um, for the sake of one pound fifty, it's indestructible. It's a good little tape measure. So let's just get that back in there. Now the one thing that I didn't mention earlier on, in the pocket that uh, I keep my snips in, that I'll show you in just a second, I keep my pre-tied pre uh, rigs. So these are Texas rigs. Um, I, keep, I just keep two sizes. Um, I had a session on my boat the other day, so I've used a few of these. So I've, as you can see, I've marked them up 1FC, so it's size 1 fluorocarbon. Um, approximately a metre long. There's a video that uh, you can find on the channel with regards to tiny's and all the bits and pieces that I use in them. So that's in that pocket. Um, inside lures, I'll come on to what, what actually take in a second. The thing that I do keep in the bottom is a flare. Um, in a zip seal bag. Uh, yes, this flare is out of date. I keep it from the point of view that it is immaculate and pristine. Um, should I ever need it, I've got something. Um, 15 quid for a flare, it's quite a bit of money. Um, so that's what I use. So anyway, going back to lures, uh, we'll start from the back and go forwards. At the back we have um, some Z-Man hula sticks. Um, then some Zoom tubes, um, some Z-Man boar hogs, um, probably my favourite craw, so these are Kremler's, um, the three and three quarter inch craw, I mentioned those, um, and then two different colours of punch craws, uh, one in June bug and one in California craw, so that's those, um, working my way forward from there, I then have my um, Waveman Tiki Grubs, so we have these in Smoke and Red, um, in Watermelon, Black Flake, Christmas Tree, and I think this one's Wine and Blue, but I've lost the label for it unfortunately, but uh, that was really one of my best ones. Um, I'm then coming forward now to um, Paddle Tails, so I've got some uh, Zoom um, uh, uh, super, uh, I'll say that again, shall I? Um, swimming Super Flute Junior in Silver Flash, um, and exactly the same in Smoking Shad, and then in the Big Bites, um, four inch. Sorry, let's do that for you. Uh, four inch Swimming Jerk Minnow. I've got them in uh, Watermelon Red Ghost and Real Shad as well. Um, so that's my bag. That's what I take with me. Um, the only other thing I can show you on there that I do have, I've added a, a D-ring at the bottom. Depending on what I'm doing, sometimes I might actually clip my landing net to that if I'm wading. Um, so it, it means that I've got both hands free and the landing net's just not sort of just um, sat in the water. So, um, yeah, so that's my, my, my bag. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions, please leave them below. Many thanks. Cheers.